one. We're back now for the um, fifth inning of play here. Seven to one, the, uh, the blue team uh, needing a little bit of uh, some action here to bring this game closer. And uh, I've, for a short moment there, I've lost my color, but that's okay. The beautiful and talented Trisha Labar joining me in just a second. But we are having a good time here watching this. It is really uh, gives you a flavor for what the kind of excitement. That was the batting order change. That's when they switched the jerseys. Well, they switched jerseys on no. us. It okay. Was okay. They allowed them to do it, but somebody showed up for you. They didn't think they'd show up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball's hit nicely. Don't look, don't look, look don't throw, look. throw, throw. Oh, oh. Eddie got him. Just picked that ball up in time, and uh, Daryl Lear is out. Dale Spiller, Dale Spiller is up. Yeah, it, it, it was close. So do we have any changes we need to make on this? Right, I have him up right now. Correct. So, okay, I've got that so far. A little, little high there. I'll tell you what, this is a, it's a very good picture they have here, Fernando. Yeah. Just very good. <laughs> Just in case he has to turn the camera. You know, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people aren't used to seeing as much uh, coverage in, the, in this thing, and it, it's kind of something that should have been happening a long time ago, and we're glad at X Able that we can be here to do this, and, uh, and we thank the Paralyzed Veterans of America and the uh, Department of Veteran Affairs for uh, inviting us to come out here and helping us. And, and I'm very thankful that X Able's out here. It actually will help us with our sponsors and things to be able to show them the videos that are on the web and be able to send them there. And also for the new athletes that are in the VA system, we'll be able to go to X Able and show them the videos of the games and be able to. We'll actually, we're going to get to it right off of the, uh, the PVA, uh, Paralyzed Veterans uh, website, yeah, too. The links are all there. And that was a little interesting call, but uh, <laughs> how's that for being diplomatic? <laughs> but, um, and we want to again thank the Gaspers Family Foundation for being the sponsor for this game and for all they do. And I look forward to getting a chance to talk to Cyril Gaspers a little bit later on after the game and do a little interview with him. And, capture him uh, and the excitement of uh, what, why he's so interested in this and his family. Because they are family. <laughs> well, anyway, right. they're, 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 it's a nice thing to have family in there. All right, yeah, so I take it that ABC, is ABC bad. involved in this in some way? ABC uh, helped to sponsor the Texas team. Uh, we provided their workout uniforms, money. Um, we've been a sponsor for about four years. Well, that's nice. It is. We, well, so you were proud when you saw thing. the Texas team marching in. It had to be, and you were in it. So, uh, of course. That was, uh, we caught that. Uh, nice on, and it's all there, though, on the opening ceremonies. Nice. And so uh, you'll see a uh, camera on you. I'm hoping I, I had the opportunity to uh, Annie Krieger and... Uh, uh, Jody Wint, uh, Shiflet, uh, uh, we won out, uh, we have a man on first, and Todd Plotten at that bat, I'm sorry, to Dale got himself on base there, so uh, with a walk, let's see if Todd, who uh, struck out last time, can do something this time. Oh, Todd is not happy with that call, that was a looking strike. The, a little bit off the plate, but uh, he, addressed it. he addressed that issue. Oh, here comes Todd. The Todds. Todd Kemry's up now. Two outs, man on first. And what you'll see is, okay, like Jonathan. Jonathan's yeah. a, he's, he's uh, one of our new vets, but He's working as a volunteer. He's actually here as an athlete also, but he has time off, so he's working as a volunteer, but he was really interested to come over and watch Todd because he has a death song. Uh -huh. And so as another quad, he's interested in watching Todd to see how quads play softball. And he's this absolutely is. a super quad. He could, yeah. he could do this. Yeah. So 
Oh, as an army like... vet, we could see. We see the army on his chair. And, uh... Oh, yeah. If you'll see him as he turns, he has army everywhere. He's a... He's definitely driven. He's been trying out as a racer for the Paralympic team. So tell me about your service. I was in the military. I joined in 1976. I uh, did my service in Missile, Germany, and in Mongolia, Germany. Uh, came back to the States. Were, the, were you Army? Or were I was you? Army. Okay. Yes, I'm from a whole family. Uh, okay, another walk. <laughs> we got first and second, two outs. And now Jacques Thuss is up. Peace, Jack Peace. Well, I'll bet you next year you'll see uh, Jonathan trying softball. I hope so. I hope so. You know what? You can see in this atmosphere there's nothing to lose. There's nothing to lose to try it, and that's what, that's what it's about. This is the place to try. I didn't like his bat. Take Are they checking him for a cork bat? Is that what they're talking about? <laughs> He ground out last time. Uh, well, you also have, like, a, one of the vets that was here last year, he came and he lost his leg in the military, and he went around through here. Some of our guys were here from UTA's basketball team, saw him, saw his height. He's fantastic. He's got to learn a little bit about shooting the ball. They've picked him up. He just got a scholarship to UTA. He's coming to Texas with us. All right. And I did tell you, uh, and, uh, you know, we're working with uh, Doug Garner, and uh, he's actually on the x -Able team for this. He's going to cover some of our different games and, uh, and some of the, you know. Uh, and we also have uh, Frank, I'm sorry, I forget his name, Valise, uh, and uh, Lou Shaver going to be doing some of the calling of a basketball game tonight. That'll be fun. Of course, I'll be in it. <laughs> so. I think so I would have loved to have done that one, but there was another thing that I could cover, and so they kind of gave me that. Oh, oh, oh that, that's going to be good. We have a chance for a run. He's coming home. Go, Doug. Come on, Doug. Come on, He digs. And second and third. That's how they're going to let him. Oh, they are. Two run score. That's a triple. What a great hit from Jock. Jonathan's like, all right. One of the great things about the Retro Swilter Games is this is not a stopping point. This is your this is your beginning point. How fantastic of our uh Oh, they're putting him back to second. Oh Are they gonna put the oh, man back on third? Are they calling it a ground rule no. double? Oh, they're having the umpires are getting together to discuss this. That was a beautifully put hit. I mean it just went right down the line there. They're gonna have a, a powwow. A powwow. <laughs> And if Fish is coming out there, I hope he doesn't start throwing the bases because these bases are hard to throw. <laughs> now, <laughs> no Lou Pinello action here. You know here. what? Leave it to a bunch of vets and they will. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I okay, do. I just want to make sure we're... Yes. Some of the baseball fans out there know... Uh, yes. We had Lou Pinello. He's I'm now a, with the Cubs. Yeah, uh, a little, little uh, temperamental. A little temperamental. <laughs> came in the Rays. And, but I'd follow him with Seattle. And, Okay, so they put, okay. oh, so one of those runs does not score. They put him back on third. They call it a ground rule double. And so when he, one run scores, two outs, this men on second and third. Still an opportunity here. And uh, this is Paul Myasset. And, and let's see if Paul can, uh, Paul walk last time and, uh, let's see. If he can't can, pitch, walks as good as a hit. Yeah. He's a good pitcher, though. He really has been yes. doing a fantastic job. Oh. Oh. You know, like I said, we, you know, the, the, on the on the somber side, you see some people here. You know, they've gone through some pretty heavy things to get here, uh, and the fact that they're here and are having a great time, they're playing this game. Uh, some of them every day getting up mm -hmm. is a challenge. I mean, Some of our guys down, so we appreciate every day that we have. I think that we're very blessed that we have the military because, if anything, military teaches you to be adaptive. So when something happens, you, you learn to adapt to your situation. That's not to say that people don't stress when they become, you know, they have to use a wheelchair, but 
I think that veterans yeah. definitely have that advantage of adaptability. <laughs> you can't find the wall. <laughs> yeah. Hiding in plain sight. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, three and one. Uh, they would love a walk right here. Bases yes, loaded with this. Just yes, fantastic. Three and two. All right. Full count. I All took, right. I just have to show you, I took a Bulgarian uh, senior national representative to a baseball game for the Rays. And he got, he just, he kept saying, uh, full count. He just loved the idea of a full count. It just made a lot of sense to him in life. He said that means in life there's lots of full counts. Oh, and he struck out. And that's the out. But that one run scores, and that gives him two runs. Here we are, where James Milliken will be up, but we get back to there. Looks like for he is up. Okay. Michael Trujillo. We mentioned him. Spirit of the Games award winner. Look at these girls carrying the water to the players, and I love it. I love it. It's just you can see the concentration, the focus of these these little girls, and they came here and they're learning a lot. They're really Give learning a lot. Take care of us. I think it's great. Right side. Just sweet. It's just really, you know, it's touching to me. Uh, uh, my own experience with uh, disabled sports and the disab disabled community really came when my daughter married someone who was in a wheelchair. And uh, it was a real eye opener when the power chairs rolled in. She invited, she had been uh, at Muscat Dystrophy Camp, and she brought home these uh, friends of hers. And uh, it changed her life and our lives. She ended up marrying them. And, but uh, I have to tell you what, I, I feel such a, an able bodied member of the disabled community. Said, you just said was that you opened up your world. A lot of the world is only living in the able body world when you create those binds between the two worlds, the able body world and the disabled world, then you've got your world complete. My kids don't know any different. Right. It's, they don't, they all learned how to play wheelchair basketball, sitting in my chair, things like that. So the whole world was open to them. They just, they just never So you had your before. children after you? No, I had them before, before. they were all young. So they were young. So they were young. My oldest daughter remembers me walking, so. Okay. Well, I know that they've probably been a big part of, 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 of giving you the, 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 the courage sometimes to go out the door, because you know what, I, I found that having a child makes you grow up and realize you have to be bigger than you were because everything you do is is seen by them and modeled by them yes it comes it back and bites you sometimes but you know what we're not different people that's one of the things that i've seen when uh people are talking to you is that they think that you become a different person because you're in a wheelchair and nothing inside changed you just have a different mobility oh Oop, that's a ball Michael Walk last time up, which is in the second inning, which shows you. Uh, He's a power hitter. They may walk him again. Okay, okay oh. did. Okay, two walks. Brian Sweet coming up. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Brian Sweet, nice name. It's a sweet name. It's a sweet name. <laughs> Todd asked He looks like a sweet me. guy, too. I watch him run. Every time somebody runs to first base, I watch him run with him, and it just is, he just doesn't seem to tire. He's very athletic. And when you watch him in quad rugby, the man is absolutely deadly. Uh, nice, nice pitch right over there. Ooh, two strikes. Brian would like to get uh, just a chance to move the man over, see if he can do that. And I'm really glad that you're here with me, Trish, for doing this. I'm enjoying your, uh, you your insights uh, as an athlete and uh, as a person who's been a supporter and all the many things. Struck him out. No. Swinging strike. It's an honor to uh, do anything with that table. They've become very popular. Well, we 
Hope so. We're excited. And, uh, some of our... All the athletes know about X Able now. I didn't take it. Usually it takes a while for people to get around, but X Able has definitely made a place for themselves. Well, uh, and that is uh, the vision of our founder, Elio Navarro, who is a power soccer athlete who has been, who was on the gold medal team at World Cup this last October. Nice. Went to Japan, USA won the gold medal and uh, one of the highlights, I'm sure. Um, and he's uh, helped form many teams across the country, uh, run clinics. Yeah. Look at that hit. What a beautiful hit. And he's second at se safe at second, safe at first. It's good they didn't try to do any more with that ball. What a. That was a beautifully hit ball. Oh. Come on. John Tuzzolino, who has two hits so far, he's two for two today, and I uh, tell you what. Um, yeah, look at the arms, there's a reason. I wonder if, uh, uh, I wonder if, I wonder if, that, if you see anything from the weightlifting in those arms. But he doesn't look muscle bound, that's for sure, just strong. He's not overdone, you absolutely see that all of his muscles come from working out. Okay, balls in play. Throw to second, in time. The man on the corners. Oh, 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 and he's gonna score, and the man goes to second. And the, going to third. Oh, ho. Boy, I'll tell you what, there was a little bit of a, a run scored there, and uh, on that single with a, sometimes you have to hold on the ball, but you have to hold on the ball at the right place. And but uh, in the wheelchair, if you over the only place you can overrun is first base. If you overrun your base, you're safe, but you overrun your base and he tags you, you're out. And that's yeah. happened a couple of times now. Well, that was some good base running there. Or base <laughs> rolling. Night. Here we go. Oh. That took someone out. You know they always say that uh, in, in in baseball, down the first base line is where you see the most foul balls. And you want to avoid being there. So. <laughs> and wheelchair softball, that's the place. That's, that's well, they got back that run that they had, uh, those runs, uh, they got, I think that's two scored then, didn't they? Let's see. Nope, only one run scored, because you have a man on the... Uh, Ping pong ball went flying by. Three and one is the count. I was saying, hey, we play tomorrow. I mean, uh... Harvey has a double and a strikeout, and he. That's going to be foul ball. Just one foul. So we have uh, two runs of scored so far. Yes, he is new. Right. He, he is a new pitcher. He didn't know that if it's a full count, he's. Oh. Yeah, he was going to be out. Balls in play. Finds a hole. He got him, but the run scores. Yeah, I guess so. He was out before the run went Okay. Out. And that ends the, uh, with the third out. That ends the fifth inning. Uh, and this is Rob Rowan with uh, Trisha Labar. And we are brought to you by the Paralyzed Veterans of America and the Department of Veteran Affairs. Uh, thank you for them. And also a big thank you for the Gaspers Family Foundation. We'll be right back for the sixth inning.